Hey you guys, Scott Johnson with Pit Home Buyers here. So I was writing this article today and we got to the section about looking for a real estate professional and kind of going over what first time home buyers can, you know, expect. Well, I wanted to elaborate on this a little bit more uh, because, you know, there's some things you need to look out for when you are looking for a real estate professional. Now, this could be any real estate professional. It could be an insurance broker, a real estate agent, a closing agent, or a closing attorney, any of them, okay? So there's a few things you really need to look out for. Now, the first one is, it's, it's, it's more subjective. Do you feel like this person, as you're talking to them, is just going through the motions, all right? Are they really asking the questions they need to be asking? Do you feel like they're taking a lot of time to understand your situation and what you're looking for? All right now, a lot of times this is a gut feeling that you can get, but if it seems like the person is just, if you feel like you're kind of just a part of a transaction or you're a, a, a cog in the system and they're just saying, check here, sign here, and not really giving you more of a why or a reason for what's going on, it's probably going to be better that you move along, try to find somebody else that can connect with you on a different level and understand your unique situation. Right? Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're checking out reviews. Now, really quick here, you want to, I want to make sure that you realize that some reviews are complete BS, right? and I understand that. But you're going to want to take a look at the website, right, your Google reviews, Facebook reviews, uh, Yelp is a very good one as well. So going along, going onto those sites, taking a look at those, and just seeing, okay, what is everybody saying about this person? It does this person seem to be credible? Now, you can tell the ones that are actually like BS, and those are going to be the ones that are um, that have you know let words that are spelled incorrectly, letters are missing, and the sentences just don't connect or make sense. Right? So that's one thing you're going to want to look out for as well. But making sure to, to also understand that there are such things as character reference reviews. Character reference reviews are reviews that are going to talk more about the character of the person because maybe that agent hasn't had many people that they've worked with yet. Maybe they're brand new in the business. Well, what they'll do is ask their family and friends for character reference reviews that kind of says, hey, I've worked with this person for this many years. Here's what we've done together. And, you know, it may not be directly correlated with the work, but, you know, that's something that uh, those are reviews that are used very frequently. And the last thing I want to cover is organization. I actually had a quick story. I, have, I had a real estate area closing attorney that we worked with on a few deals. And it was hilarious because we would walk into his office and every single time he had stacks of just manila folders, papers all over the place. All right? And it was funny because I sat down and he was like one time and he was like, Scott, you like my filing system? Took a manila folder right off to the side it was hilarious but you know and, and as funny as that was you know being organized is really going to help all right because if they're not organizing everything they need to do appropriately or putting it into a system then you don't know if they're going to be able to you know make ends meet put everything together before closing so if they got stuff spewed all over the place that's a big red flag all right, now those are three things that I really want to make sure that you guys look out for when you are looking for a real estate professional in Greenville, North Carolina. Uh, if you have any questions, then definitely feel free to reach out and let me know. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon.